What's up, Americans? How y'all doing? So, I want to talk about... Uh, oh, man. I want to talk about the whole Sonny Holston thing and her saying, oh, well, you know, she doesn't understand black Republicans or Latino Republicans and how being a black Republican is an oxymoron. Well, you know what? That's great. Uh, we welcome, everyone welcomes her unpopular opinion. You know, in, in America where we have freedom of speech, anybody is welcome to have an opinion, no matter how unthoughtful it is. Um, what I would truly say is that, you know, she, while she might not understand black Republicans, what matters is that black Republicans understand themselves and that they know or they have the ability to think for themselves, that they have the ability to say, hey, you know what? I'm gonna make the decisions uh, that I feel are best for me rather than feeling peer pressure. Because what ends up happening is that when you're living in these big cities like Baltimore, like Philadelphia, you look around and you see that the power structure around you are ran by Democrats. They're ran by uh, uh, the whole Democratic establishment and it ends up being uh, the case where you're suffered to failing institutions, you're, failing, you're subject to low expectations in the politics of low uh, expectations. Then you have the soft bigotry of the low expectations as well uh, in some of these big old cities. Let's go through some of the big cities. In Baltimore and in Philadelphia, cities that I frequent, well, one that I live in and one that I frequent uh, very much because of family, you have some of the highest crime rates in the country, some of the highest per capita murder in the country. And somehow we're supposed to be okay with that. Well, if someone goes to a different political party and um, by like a protest vote or whatever else, apparently they are, they, they are an oxymoron. Why? Because they, they believe that in what low taxes or tough on crime that we should have it because if it was in other communities such as white communities and they say, tough on crime and everything else. Oh, it's, so, it's supposed to be acceptable for them, but not for black communities where we want safety as well. What about school choice? A lot of the white communities, they have quality schools because of the resources and everything else that have been put into their neighborhoods through property taxes and all these other enshrined ways of, you know, doing things. Why can't we have school choice here in black communities as well? I live right down the street from a black school that a uh, formerly black majority school that has been shut down and the building is going to waste. Vandalism has been happening to the building. They have rent -a cops protecting the building here in Baltimore City. Meanwhile, you also have uh, uh, the grass overgrown and fireworks being shot from it almost every other night and people breaking into it. Oh, so it's an oxymoron. It's, it's, it must also be an oxymoron that black folks like to have uh, low taxes. In majority of the places where black people live, we live in high tax cities. We end up being uh, not having proximity to great jobs and access to jobs. Meanwhile, we're being overtaxed given to the share of resources that we actually receive. So why can't a black person be a Republican in protest of that? Hmm. What about also the conservative faith that a lot of black people have? Okay. A lot of black people, they believe in strong in a family unit. They believe in a two parent household. They believe in uh, a mother and father. And we're not discriminatory towards a lot of uh, other communities. You know, meanwhile, the media largely tries to demonize black folk and say that they are, uh, anti-LGBTQ or whatever else. No, black people are some of the most accepting people ever. And it's all based on our Christian faith, which which party aligns most with that? The Democratic Party or the Republican Party? Only one of those parties will openly pray nearly every meeting that they have. 
the other one seems to have some type of aversion to it. Now, I'm not saying that there should be an intermixing, intermixing of church and government, which there most certainly should not be. We have an establishment call, uh, clause for that reason, that there shouldn't be an intermixing of church and government. But black folks, if they choose to follow a more conservative version of their faith in Christianity or Islam, whatever the hell else they might believe, then they might say, hey, I'm conservative in my uh, behavioral uh, systems as well. Or behavioral um, uh, mores and, and, and norms and whatever else. So they might say, hey, you know what? Well, guess what? I'm going to join a party that reflects my social values as well. But you know what? Sonny Holston wouldn't understand that because, you know, she's one of those latte liberals stuck up in New York somewhere. What she should focus on is getting out into the streets and talking to some real black people more than just the other latte liberals that she sticks with, you know, more than just the MSNBC types or the ABC types. Maybe she needs to talk to somebody out on, on Lenox Avenue or out on the main street somewhere. Maybe she should come down to DC and talk to some people over in U Street. Maybe she should come down here to Baltimore, talk to some people over in the hood or uh, go to Philly, talk to some people over in the hood as well. But no, she wouldn't do that because she's a latte liberal and she's too busy stuck up where she is. But anyways, um, you know, black people being conservative is oxymoron as if we're the ones who are pushing all these other agendas onto our communities and saying we got to do this and and that in our in our schools or whatever else no black people are out here just trying to survive and black people make the decisions that they want to make because at the end of the day even black people can and, and black conservatives can say hey you know i have the freedom to to identify as whoever or whatever I want to and be whoever or whatever I want to. And that even includes your party affiliation. It's funny. It's funny. I wasn't going to go here, but it's funny that she is, she would be of the political party that says you can identify as whatever uh, uh, gender that you want to or whatever sexuality that you want to. But you can identify with whatever political party that you want to based on your skin color. And that is so, that is the most warped sense of prejudice that I can think of. As a person who has me, as a person who has fought on behalf, on behalf of LGBT communities uh, to make sure that they can also get... Um, uh, the LGBT contracting recognition here in Maryland as a person who has fought on behalf of black communities and Latino communities uh, through the Latinos Unidos or the uh, Latinos Unidos or the Black Student Unions or uh, the LGBT Chamber, Chamber of Commerce. I hate the fact that you would have someone like Sonny Holston, who's a proud Afro-Latina, to say that black people cannot or, or latino people cannot be or, or or want to be who they want to or identify with whatever political party that they want to that's just so that that's that's a very small minded thing of her now let's go to another topic another topic is looking out here at these churches today i'm scrolling through my news feed and i saw that there's a church up in new york and some other churches around the country they're holding prayers and you have individuals going to catholic churches mostly and holding protests outside of catholic churches because of the abortion debate hey look people should have their own choice and they should have their own choice to also protest wherever they want to but openly harassing organizations uh, on the basis of the religious stances of those organizations it's patently false and that's not what America is about um, but hey I'm just some guy on YouTube if this continues though there's going to be a strong strong backlash against a lot of these play, uh, uh, um, movements and it's going to be right at the ballot box and you're going to see it come November see you look around and Biden is already failing in the polls. The Democrats are already failing in the polls. And it's an anger unlike many people 
have really ever expressed. It's a it's the fact that you know you got people who can't or are struggling to put food on their table. Uh, you have the black community looking here, and we see things happening for the LGBT community, the Asian community, the Latino community, uh, for the Native American community, but nothing is happening for the black community. Yeah, black people make up about 40% of the Democratic Party and are the most um, active members of the Democratic Party. The party's base is black people. In states like Maryland, black people make up 50% of the black part of the, the, the Democratic Party. Black people make up 50%. And yet they're still struggling to get even a foothold on some of the most, you know, important things to American descendants of slaves, such as a reparations bill, which is even a watered down study of a repara of reparations which you know what there should be no more studying of how to provide reparations there's such things out there of how you could provide this for american descendants of slaves such as business grants such as tax-free deferrals such as housing grants these are things that would mostly benefit that would benefit black communities who were the who bore the brunt of housing discrimination, healthcare discrimination, uh, uh, business discrimination, land discrimination. When they were forced off of their land, they weren't allowed to go into certain hospitals or given the same care. They're given way worse education. And meanwhile, you have all this media concerted effort to say, oh, well, black people will save democracy, that they're, they're, they, they're so much here. They, they're the ones who saved it last time. It's up to black people to help us. Oh, democracy is in peril. And you know what? If they roll back Roe versus Wade, they're going to roll back Obergefell as well. And then they're going to go for Brown versus Board of Education. Because you know what? They Nothing worse than you know them saying that the, the schools are going to be uh, segregated. Well, guess what? The schools are already segregated. And they have been segregated since public education be, became legal and mandated by the government in 1901. Okay? Segregation has continued to happen and has even gotten worse since Brown versus Board of Education. Yeah, you might have a little dotting of black kids inside of these white schools, but largely our black schools have been underfunded. And the only time when they do get funding is to take the funding away from math programs and art programs and social studies to learn about black history or to learn how to do math. And you put it into Esau classes and everything else taken away from black students. But black people will save democracy, right? Black people would save democracy. And we're supposed to be scared of Brown versus Board of Education being, you know, um, rolled back. Meanwhile, black schools are already underfunded. Look at Baltimore City with Calvin Rodwell. Look at uh, Baltimore City with a damn near... It, actually, every school in Baltimore City is underfunded. And most of that money concentrates in the administration building over on 200 East North Avenue. That money doesn't even make it to most of these schools other than the principals who I can tell you, there are a lot of principals who bust their tail to make sure that their students can get the best of the best, such as Pam Smith over at um, Margaret Brent um, in, or Cold Stream Elementary, which is now shut down, uh, or even Monarch Academy. You had principals who were busting their tail but the administration of the Baltimore City Public Schools is just ridiculous. But black people will save democracy, right? Okay, okay, great. And so when Sun when Sonny Holston says that she doesn't understand or the black people being Republicans, black Republicans, you know what? I don't understand a lot of these black Democrats. I don't understand it. It's an oxymoron in the same way that she thinks that black Republicans are an oxymoron. Black people have the freedom to be, you know, I misspoke. I shouldn't have said that. But black people have the freedom to be whoever the heck they want to be or be whatever the heck they want to be because we have the freedom. Our ancestors 
fought and built this country. And maybe Sonny Holston would understand that better if she used her law degree. I'm out.